The new stars is Alpha 3.24 PTU pass just dropped into wave one with the possibility of hitting a wave two if all goes well. Let's see what's in it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. All right, guys, this one is pretty straightforward, but there are a few new updates for this weekend. So CIG intends to do a uh, test for uh, Blockade Runner, the new global event um this saturday and sunday so um hopefully all goes well and they did also mention that the patch has a potential of hitting wave two if the bug fixes that are included in this patch work so hopefully they do work so now let's see what's in the patch okay so the very first thing here is uh under gameplay they've updated the rank on certain hauling missions to improve progression on the ships and vehicles, they've updated the Aurora series cargo physics uh, proxies to help manual loading of cargo. All right, so this one has a few bug fixes as well. Um, they fixed an issue where the ATC gateway queue uh, appears to get slowed down and cause hangars to not open with high traffic. They fixed an issue where elevators are present, but panel button stops functioning. They fixed an issue where extra mission cargo icons show in the freight uh, manager kiosk they face an issue where local area is temporarily missing atmosphere after server recovery causing the players to take varied amounts of damage they fix an issue where players receive an internal error prompt when attempting to transfer items or cargo to the warehouse from a freight elevator they fix an issue where after receiving a ground vehicle via the ASAP, all ASAP will send ground vehicles to the garage and break hangars if location isn't the player's primary residency. They fix an issue where you're unable to retrieve any ship at the location after retrieving a previously impounded ship exiting to menu during retrieval or storing process or taking elevator to spaceport during retrieval. They fix an issue where item preview in the inventory interface are larger than intended man that's been in there for the longest oh my goodness thank god they fixed this they uh fixed an issue where store all containers can be placed from storage access kiosk they fixed an issue where leaving to menu with a ship on the pad does not stow the personal hanger for the next uh shard joined they fixed an issue where attempts to assign a player a non-instance numbered hanger in an old way of assigning hangers. The fixed an issue where Arc L5 ATC attempts to assign player a non-instance numbered hanger in the old way assigning hangers. They fixed an issue where the Starfire series tuning resembles heavy fighters archetype instead of a heavy industrial ship. <laughs> That's interesting. The fixed issue where the Lorville perimeter gate 0 to 6 have misaligned fans. The fixed an issue where auto loading costs are incorrect, calculated at Lorville to be higher than intended. The fixed an issue where the AI man vehicle turrets do not fire. Now, this is for all man turrets actually. The fixed an issue where all transit stations doors at the central business district are missing collision and geometry. They fixed an issue where when SU boxes are extremely difficult to get into the cargo hold if at all. They fixed an issue where ships and vehicles impound after a server crash recovery the ship will get impounded and the actor will teleport under the city of area 18. That's it that's hilarious um along with this is two server crash fixes before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe catch you guys on the next one